What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the God Hoods Billionaire. Welcome to Hoods Billionaire TV. Big favor, big abundance. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about this Saweetie smash offset behind Quavo's back. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, So Quavo just dropped a, a new album with a takeoff uh, called Only Built for Infinity Links. Uh, shout out to Raekwon. Um, that title came from his uh, debut solo album, Only Built for Cuban Links, which is a classic. Um, so they went in, they dropped the album. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a review on the album, too, for Flame Friday. So check that out also as well. Yeah, it, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, on a song called Messy, he dropped a couple lines that talked about, you know, his ex smashed his dog behind his back you know what i'm saying but it's cool you feel what i'm saying if if he would have known she wanted to smash everybody he would have blessed it you feel what i'm saying but you know a lot of people are or are, are taking that as you know he was talking about sweetie because there had been rumors that sweetie had smashed offset you know what i'm saying behind quavo's back so um that's that's pretty much where that came from and then it kind of got double verified when um they him and takeoff were on big facts podcast and um you know he kind of was like dancing around the topic but he was just saying it didn't really have nothing to do with no labels it don't you know the reason that him and offset was wasn't cool it ain't had nothing to do with no labels it ain't had nothing to do with nothing you feel what i'm saying it had everything to do with loyalty you feel what i'm saying he was just saying like it ain't got nothing to do with no labels no record deals no contracts it really got everything to do with loyalty and um he just rather keep going with takeoff you feel what i'm saying so you know uh you know it's kind of one of those read between the lines type of situations where it's kind of like if you read between the lines you kind of can see what he's trying to insinuate but we still don't know this is all alleged and just people reading in between the lines right um but it definitely seemed like there's some hurt there it definitely seemed like you know it is something deeper than just them than some music shit because that's what that's what uh quavo said quavo said it's, it's deeper than this rap shit you feel what i'm saying it's, it's, it's deeper than that you know what i'm saying so um now what do i think about this situation i'm gonna just keep it all the way on honey like um you know quavo was moving a certain way right quavo was moving a certain way y'all know i know he she you know called him out for cheating you know a bunch of times and infidelity you know what i'm saying and she called him out for that so like i always tell y'all the energy that you put out is the energy that comes back you feel what I'm saying? If you're running around and you cheating and you're doing all type of stuff, then that energy come back. You feel what I'm saying? But what I will say is this, though. Even if she went and smashed somebody else, I'm pretty I'm pretty positive that Quavo wouldn't have tripped if she went and smashed somebody else as opposed to it being offset. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that was clearly to get back at Quavo if it did happen. You feel what I'm saying? And offset supposed to know better than that. He's supposed to know you always gonna you supposed to put family first. Always. You know what I'm saying? You always supposed to put family first. Now everybody don't live by that. I'ma just keep it a hundred. Everybody don't live by that. Like, I'm be I so I've been in this situation before, right? I've been in a situation where um, you know, a friend of mine, you know, somebody that I'm, that I'm cool with, you know what I'm saying? Really, you know, like more so kind of like almost a family member. Um, you know, him and his, the a chick he was dealing with broke up and, um, I mean, she just pretty much let me know I could fuck like, and you know what I'm saying? And let it be known what it was. You feel what I'm saying? So, and of course I didn't fuck her. Not only did I not fuck her, but I let him know like, Hey bro, I'm just going to keep it real. Your girl tried to fuck me and I'm just letting you know, you feel what I'm saying? Cause you know, I don't move like that. It's all loyalty. It's all love on my end. You feel what I'm saying? And I just don't move like that. You feel what I'm saying? And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Niggas appreciated that. You know what I'm saying? Now, what I will say is that exact same person 
You know what I'm saying? A chick that I had stopped fucking with, like, it was never really nothing deep. You know what I'm saying? It was just a little chick that I was fucking with or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And and, and he, after I stopped fucking with her, I guess she was mad at me or whatever. And he actually did hit her. You know what I'm saying? He hit the little chick that I was fucking with. Once again, I didn't even care. It didn't even matter to me. Like, I, I promise I didn't care. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why it really didn't even bother me like that. But it was like just a fact, you know, as I grew older and it was a reflection and I saw that pattern of behavior more and more, I started to realize I wasn't the only guy that this has happened to. It seems like, you know, this certain person is hitting a lot of his friends, women that his friends used to deal with. And to me and my tribe with the niggas that I deal with, once again, my circle's small. That's just a no-no. You know what I'm saying? We just don't rock like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't, if it's so, if once you bring, come around with like my, my fam or like niggas that I'm cool with, that's just me personally. I can only speak on me. That's just me personally. I'm not finna hit no bitch that you fucking with like that. That's just me. That's, that's me. You know what I'm saying? If I really fuck with you, if I don't know you like that, then it's all for a game. But if I fuck with you, especially if you family, nah, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Especially not no ex, but not even no ex. Even if it's just a little chick you was fucking around with, I'm not going to fuck her. Because I know how women can be. They can be vindictive. They just doing it just to piss you off. You feel what I'm saying? So it is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? So everybody not built the same. And I think that's really where Quavo where his issue lie from where it's like everybody not built the same and that it probably hurt him in a way where it's like damn i ain't think like my my family would do that like i could see one of these industry niggas fucking her that wouldn't have bothered me but like my family doing it like that kind of hit him probably in a different way to where he felt like well just fuck it i gotta cut ties with this person for a minute you feel what i'm saying and there's nothing wrong with that He's setting the boundaries. You feel what I'm saying? The boundaries had to be set. He had to put them boundaries out there. So it is what it is. But I mean, let's let that be a lesson. Like you got to understand, man. Like I said, man, this loyalty shit is different. You feel what I'm saying? This loyalty shit is different. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, if you, if you a quote unquote real nigga, like loyalty got to be a part of that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, lo loyalty is one of the foundational traits of a real nigga. And it's like, if you if you not loyal enough to to not let, like, a female, you know, come and finesse you through, you know what I'm saying, in a relationship or, you know, finesse you between you and your family member or do anything that you know is finessing, it just speak a lot to your character and the type of human being you are. You feel what I'm saying? So I just I feel like Quavo probably just hurt behind the situation and that's really all it is. You know what I'm saying? He had to just keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? The nigga like, you know, me, I'ma keep it real. You don't know how you feel if you was in that situation. Like if a nigga hit my ex, you feel what I'm saying? If a nigga hit my ex and he was my family, I probably feel I probably feel the same way. I probably feel the same way. I'ma just keep it real, especially if you my le legit blood family, like you know what I'm saying, like, close friends, nigga. Like, like damn, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. Like you didn't see that play coming. So it is what it is. That's how it go. You know what I'm saying. Sometimes it be like that. Like I said, that shit. It it let and let me. This how real I am in the situation. Like, the situation with, like, the little chick that I was fucking with, this is over 10 years ago. This is probably, like, um, if I, this is probably, like, 15 years ago. This is probably, like, anywhere from, like, 13 to 15 years ago. So, this is a long time ago. But what I'm saying is, even when the person that I was fucking with had, you know what I'm saying, hit the chick that I used to talk to, and once again, she wasn't my girl. This was no nothing serious. It wasn't a serious. It was just a chick I was fucking with. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah, when I stopped fucking with her, I guess she was angry and she hit my people. And my people went with that. And that's cool. It is what it is. I his his chick tried to fuck me years down the line, maybe like three or four years down the line. And I had the opportunity to, if I was on that type of time, could have hit her. You feel what I'm saying? Could have hit her in the car type shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like but I didn't because my loyalty is just built different. I'm a different type of human being. You know what I'm saying? Everybody not built like that. So you want to 
All really Quavo is learning is like you got to keep the people around you that are built like you. You can't have people around you that aren't built like you. You feel what I'm saying? Because if they not built like you, they susceptible to the, the ways of the world and those temptations that come with, with, with when you're ascending as a as a as a person. You know what I'm saying? As you continue to go up in the ranks and you ascend as a person, um, you know, that's that's typically what happens in those types of situations. You know what I'm saying? So not really nothing. Not really. You know what I'm saying? I can understand where you're coming from. Um, in that type of situation, like I said, if it happened to, if it happened to, you know, if it was, if it was you on the other end, I pre- I kind of feel like anybody, any man would probably be like pissed off about that. Like, damn bro, like that's my ex, you know what I'm saying? But that type of shit be happening. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you gotta, I think why he's close with takeoff. Cause he just know takeoff wouldn't do no shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? And takeoff just seemed more like low key, like nigga, you know, I'm with you to the end type shit. So. It is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? You know, but hopefully they'll figure it out and get it together and, you know, put it together on their end, man. You feel what I'm saying? It is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, though, man. You know what I'm saying? If she did fuck him, was she was he wrong for fucking her? Was was Offset wrong? Do y'all think he was wrong? Do y'all think, what do y'all think? Do y'all think Quavo justified to feel how he feel? Or do y'all feel like, well, I mean, it, you know, it is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. It's the guy who is being our big favor, big abundance. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. It's the guy who is being our big favor, big abundance. I'm gone.